so friends first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here is the fifth lesson on the topic geometry that is on triangle so we will be solving some of the important question that are related to the concept of median that is centroid right so uh, i hope you have already watched the previous four videos so starting from lesson number one introduction about triangle and then we have learned what are all the different types of triangles are there and how to identify their angles and we have solved some of the question and the previous video that is fourth video that is based on a basic proportionality theorem right most important theorem to solve some of the parallel uh, line based question so we have learned many things that is on triangle on geometry so now entering into the fifth lesson that is on the concept of median in the first lesson itself i have explained what is called as median how to draw a median and if it is a triangle there are three medians you can draw maximum Maximum. So I have explained everything but for solving some question right when you take uh, any quantitative aptitude books of various authors are there right. So when you take some authors will solve a question that is based on a median by using a formula. But when you take some author books, they will solve it in a question by a unit method, right? Unit method. One unit is this much. So what is three units? They, they won't use a formula to solve the question that is related to a median. They will directly apply a unit and they find the answer. But some authors you can able to see in the solution, they will directly written. So area is this much, area of a triangle is this much, then this area will be 20 they will not be a huge solution just in a single line they will write the answer so you have to understand before applying whether you are going to solve a question in a formula or whether you are going to use a shortcut whatever be but every time before solving a question first you have to understand what is the basic concept here right why they are writing in many books in many foreign author books or else are Indian author books you can able to see they will write this word 3 quadrilateral, 3 into quadrilateral is equals to area of a triangle. In many books you can able to see this. 3 quadrilateral area, right? 3 quadrilateral area is equals to area of a triangle. So why they are writing this point everywhere while solving a question that is based on a median. Some author books you can able to see this point everywhere on the solution. So first let me understand what is the median the median after drawing a median how the triangle is converted into a quadrilateral and why they are writing this everything we can learn here and i can solve you some of the questions to understand how they are applying this quadrilateral logic to solve the entire question so first let me draw a triangle right so let's assume that this is a triangle s a b and c so now we can draw a median. I have first video itself I have told you how to draw a median. So one vertex points to the opposite side of a triangle, one side of a triangle. So this is called as an one median. Let's fix this as D, right? So we can draw an another median. Let's fix this as E. And we can draw an another median. Let's fix this as F. So we can say that the center point is called as a G. So it's a triangle, right? It's a triangle. And for this triangle, we have three median. A to D is one median. C to F is an another median. B to E is an another median. So all the median connecting point, which is called as a G, that is called as a centroid. So now just, just listen carefully while teaching the median for first note that is first lesson itself I have told you a median that splits the triangle into two equal half. for example if you draw a median like this right if you if I draw a median like this which makes the triangle area to split into equal half so here we have drawn three medians right just listen carefully each area right so each area so this will be one area and this will be another area and this will be another area so each area after drawing a median will be equal so friends understood or not right so each area so this area this area so you can say this smaller area and this area this area this area so all the areas will be equal always because we have drawn three medians which splits the triangle into an equal areas so all the path areas will be equal and another important thing, after drawing a median, you can able to see this is called as one quadrilateral. Friends, understood or not? Just see, F, G, this, 
this is called as a quadrilateral so everyone knows how the quadrilateral looks like right so this is called as a quadrilateral so one quadrilateral so this will be another quadrilateral right and this will be the third quadrilateral so friends understood so once you draw a median right for three medians in a triangle which splits the triangle into three quadrilateral this is called as one quadrilateral this will be one quadrilateral and this will be another quadrilateral and this will be another quadrilateral so only because of this they are writing a formula three quadrilateral so this one this one and this one so three quadrilateral area is equals to area of a triangle because when you join the three the quadrilateral which, which becomes the complete area of a triangle so that's the reason they are writing this as three area of a quadrilateral is equals to complete area of a triangle so friends understood or not right so whenever you draw a median just remember it it makes the triangle area divide the triangle into two equal half that means when you draw a median it makes two equal area of right so we, where you can see the left hand side area right hand side area will be same when we draw three median so all the part has been divided into equal areas right so now other than this, uh, there are many concepts are there, but while solving a question, we can learn that. But only based upon this concept, we can solve the limited number of questions. Because I, I don't want to dump every concept in the single video because you will feel very difficult to understand the concept. So I hope now you understood the small concept here, right? So 3 into quadrilateral area is equals to area of a triangle. That's it. And remember one thing, when we draw a median, it makes the triangle into equal half it, spl it splits the triangle into an equal half right so all the areas where that will be equal so when you, when you refer any foreign author books they will refer one 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 year why because they they are assuming that all the areas are same so all the six part one part two part three part four part five part six parts all the six parts area will be same so now let me move on to some of the questions here. I think I will be solving only two questions here to understand this concept. Right? So I am not going to teach you all the concept in a single video. Just learn step by step so that you will not get any confusion while solving a question. So now let me move on to the question which are related to this concept. So here is the first question. The three median AD, BE and CF of a triangle ABC intersecting at point G if the area of a triangle is 60 square centimeter, then the area of the quadrilateral BDGF is. So here, in the question, they didn't give you any diagrams here. They have given in the form of a sentence. We have to draw a diagram. So our target is to find what is the area of the quadrilateral. That is BDGF. And what they have given is a triangle. So triangle ABC, where the area is how much? 60 square centimeter. Without drawing a diagram or without writing a formula or anything, you can directly solve the question by just directly seeing a computer in your exams. So just now I have told you, if it is a triangle, right? So three quadrilateral will be equals to the area of a triangle. So three into quadrilateral, one quadrilateral that we need to find. So three quadrilateral is equals to area of a triangle. What is the area of the triangle they have given is 60. So three into X is equals to 60. So X is equals to 60 by three, answer will be 20. So the answer for this question is 20 by just using a small concept right so three quadrilateral so three quadrilateral area is equals to area of a triangle right so now three into one quadrilateral our target is to find so let's assume this as x equal to area of a triangle area of a triangle is how much 60 so x is equals to how much 20 so that means we have found one quadrilateral area will be 20 so 3 quadrilateral, 20 plus 20 plus 20, resultant will be 60. That's it, right? You can directly solve this question by understanding the basic concept of the median. So 3 quadrilateral is equals to area of a triangle. If you want to solve the same question by drawing a diagram, right? Without using this 3 quadrilateral concept, we can also solve this question easily. Just I will teach you here. Just look at the diagram carefully, right? So they are saying that there is a triangle ABC and they are saying there is a median A2D 
B to E and C to F. C to F. Right? There are three medians they are drawing and this center point they have assumed this as a G. Right? So intersecting point or a centroid or a center point. So they are assuming this as a G. What they have given us the area of a complete triangle ABC. So ABC is how much? 60 square centimeter. Now just assume that, just listen carefully, just now I have told you in the initial stage of the video, right? When we draw a median, it makes the complete triangle into six equal parts. Yes or no? Right? After drawing three medians, the triangle is split into six equal parts. That means the total area of a triangle is 60. When we divide this by six parts, it becomes 10 square centimeter. What does it mean? So this one side, that is one area is 10. So similarly, this area is 10 and this part is 10. So this will be 10 and this will be 10 square centimeter and this will be 10 square centimeter. Understood or not, right? So it splits the triangle into six equal half. So each half will be 10, 10 square centimeter. Only then we can say 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 and 10. The total area will be 60. So now what is our target? Our target is to find the area of quadrilateral B, D, G, F. B, right? So D, G and F. So this is the area what we need to find in the question. So this area is how much 10? This area is how much 10? When you add these two area, 20 square centimeter. So answer for this question is 20 square centimeter. So this is the uh, way that we solve a question by a property or a normal formula. But this is the method that the concept of the real median. Right? This is the basic concept, right? So by using a basic concept, we have solved the question. By using a property, we have solved the same question. So it's very very simple and very easy question so why we are learning this because just to understand the concept of the median what is the median what the median makes the triangle into how it makes the triangle into a quadrilateral and how the area is split into equal half that's it easy or not let's solve another one question to understand this concept even more so another one question which was asked in the SSC exam so just see here in a triangle ABC AD, BE, CF are the medians. If the area of a triangle DGC is 20 cm square, then the area of a triangle AGF plus area of a triangle BGF is equals to. So our target is to find what is the area of a triangle AGF and what is the triangle BGF which is equals to total we need to find and they have given one area that is 20 centimeters square whether you can say the answer directly without solving it yes you can because it's it's a concept of a median a triangle which is ABC and they are drawing a median so once you draw a median to a triangle then it makes six equal half so one half is 20 then all the half will be 20 so we have to find two triangle area 20 plus 20 is equals to 40 answer for this question is 40 centimeter square so friends understood or not right so let's solve this question normally right just what they have given us they have given a triangle a b c so now a and d one point so d and e another point so c and f is then another point right so totally there are three points and they are assuming this center point as either they have given any median or they didn't assume anything here so a d b e and c f or the median if the area of a triangle d g c let's assume this as g because they didn't given the question let's assume this right so just listen carefully you, you know right when we draw a median it makes an Two equal half as well as it makes small small triangles because this is called as one triangle and this is called as an another triangle. So totally if we draw a three median, it makes the triangle into six small small triangles. That is the meaning of it. Six equal half or six equal triangles. See, this is one triangle, right? This will be another one triangle. This will be another one triangle. When you join two triangles, which makes a quadrilateral. So this triangle and this triangle, when you join these two triangles, which makes a quadrilateral. That's it. The concept is everything is like similar right so similar like what we learnt in cube and cuboid when you join two cube it becomes cuboid it's same concepts so now what they are saying is the area of dgc d g and c 
So they have given the area of this triangle, right? This triangle area, what they have given is 20 centimeters square. Yes. So now what is the target? Our target is to find what is the area of AGF. So A, G and F. So this triangle area we need to find as well as we need to find BGF. So B, G, F, this area. So we already know that if we draw a median to a triangle which splits the triangle into six equal half. If one half is 20, then all the remaining half will be 20, 20, 20. So we have to find this area and this area. So this will be 20, this will be 20. The total area will be 40 centimeters square. So the answer for the question is 40 centimeters square. So friends understood or not, right? So here, in this video, I have solved only two questions, basic concept of a median. I didn't teach you anything deeply here, but in the fifth lesson, as well as in the previous lesson also, basic proportionality theorem. It's a very small concept, right? Two parallel uh, lines, one line which is drawn parallel to the side. But remember one thing, in the, we have lots of concepts in geometry, not only in triangle, when you take a circle or when you take a square, a parallelogram, there are many concepts. But you can't able to just like that learn everything in a single step. We have to learn in a step by step process. So we have learned basic proportionality theorem. So now we have learned what is called as a median and how it makes the how the median makes three quadrilateral. So and based upon that we have solved a question. In the next video I will be teaching you right if we draw a median right. So it makes the length right this is one median length. So this median length will always be usually it will be like this will be one part and this will be two part. So friends understood or not for example if the length of ad median is 18 assume that they have given like this so the ad median length is 18 if they have given like this right if we draw a center point that is centroid g here so this median this centroid makes the length of the median into 1 is to 2 ratio so now we can say that this will be 12 centimeter and this will be 6 centimeter this this line length will be 6 centimeter and this line length will be 12 centimeter so once understood or got right? you it's a basic thing so it splits the length of the median into in the ratio of 1 is to 2 so this will be one part this will be two part so similarly when you take this median this will be one part this will be two part so when you take this median this will be one part and this will be two part so two times the length of this length Right? So we will be learning that concept on the next video. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you are preparing for any important uh, competitive exams like railway, SSC or your state level uh, competitive exams, these concepts are important. So I have a separate note, write everything in a step-by-step uh, -step process. Right? Once before going for an exam, when you just revise all those things, it will be easy to crack the question and the exams. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you really like it, share the video to your friends, those are preparing for it. So thank you so much. Bye.